You change the knots. You are the Lord. You change the knots. You are the Lord. You change the knots. You are the Lord. You change. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, you cheat the Lord, you are the Lord, you cheat the Lord, you are the Lord, you are the Lord, you cheat the Lord, you are the Lord, you cheat the Lord. Harubo ojo uju ba de lo, uchi de lo, juwa de lo, uchi de lo. I want to welcome you, the Lord bless you. I want you to share this broadcast with your friend on Facebook, on WhatsApp. The first minute, first five minutes of today's program, we want to sing that song to worship God. Because God is said to do something unique for 20 people today. 20 people. That is something they took away from you. Somebody took your garments. They took something from you. And they use it against you. God is breaking that covenant today. But let's open heaven by this praise. Make sure you share so that people can join. You are the Lord. You change the knots. You are the Lord. You change the knots. Hallelujah. You are the Lord. You change the knots. You are the Lord. You change the knots. If you know any name, you can call the Lord. You can type it there in the comment section. If you know him as the King of Kings, that is there. If you know him as your Lord, as your Alpha, there is one name of God I love. He said, I am that I am. Hey, I want you to write any name of God that you know. Just write it and connect with us as we worship God. You know, if we pray and our heaven is not open, there is nothing we can do. But as we worship God, your worship open heaven for you. Worship is an instrument to connect to the grace of God. You are the Lord. You did You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You did You are the Lord. You did Harubo a joe, you are the Lord. You cheat the Lord. 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 Yes, somebody says a king of kings. God is a king of kings. He is I am that I am. We still have two more minutes to worship God. Write any name of God you know. For me, I see God as I am. Somebody says, Alagbada, you know, yes, you are right. As you are joining, make sure you write the name of God that you know. And make sure you share this broadcast. It's going to be a very powerful deliverance session this afternoon. Hey, you are the Lord, you cheated the Lord. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, you cheated the Lord. You are the Lord, you cheated the Lord. Another person said, Ogunshina Isia Kadiola, the Lord bless you. Mr. Ogunle Efemi, the Lord bless you, my lovely sister. This is our only if we look at the Lord. Bless you. If you write, my brother, you are welcome. My sociologist, you are welcome. 
You still have one more minute. It's going to be a very powerful deliverance section today. Nobody will tell you to pray. Mr. Yorinde, sociologist, Mr. Yorinde, you are welcome, sir. I want everybody to share this broadcast and write one name, just one name of God that you know. One more minute and we begin to, to pray. You are the Lord, you the Lord. You are the Lord, you are the Lord, you cheat the Lord. You are the Lord, you cheat the Lord. You are the Lord, you cheat the Lord. Malika la masa madamara. You are the Lord, you cheat the Harubo ojo you are the Lord. You cheat the Lord. You are the Lord. You cheat the Lord. Still have two more time to sing that song before we pray. Somebody said Yagu Yaju. Somebody said Obatu Bonimba Atiagbara. Is the I am that I am. Is the Alpha and Omega. Is the beginning and the end. You are the Lord. You change the Lord. You are the Lord. You change the Lord. You are the Lord. You are the Lord. You change the Lord. You are the Lord. You cheat the Lord. The Lord bless you. The man in Gilead. Oh, Sheikh Wolo. You are welcome. The Lord bless you. Make sure you share this broadcast. I will start with a testimony. What you are wearing, the clothes you are wearing matters. The way you appear. In the spirit realm matter today we want to pray against the spirit of manipulation if you have ever lost a piece of clothes or you sense somebody took your clothes to somebody uh, to, to, to somewhere this prayer is for you mrs Oniola Adujumoke the Lord bless you or you sense at a time you couldn't find a piece of cloth that belonged to any of your child. You couldn't find anything that you, you've worn. Maybe your pants, maybe your top, maybe your clothes, anything. Maybe your shoe. Maybe it's something that belongs to you. You don't see it anymore. It's in the Bible. That's what we are praying for. They use those things to manipulate people's destiny. I'm going to read a verse. And I'm going to share a testimony and I will pray. We continue with the story of Jacob. This is how Jacob lost his blessing. They took his clothes and used it to misrepresent him before his dad. I believe you are following us. We'll be praying with the Jacobian spirit. One of the Jacobian spirits is the spirit of manipulation. If you see that they always manipulate you. And this thing can happen to anybody, even including me. There is no prophet that the devil cannot manipulate. It's in the Bible. The chief priest in Israel, the chief priest, the high priest in Israel, Satan put a feeding garment on him. That's the number one man in Israel, the chief priest. Satan puts a feeding garment on him. But that's not where I'm going today. Genesis 27 verse 15. Genesis 27 verse 15. And Rebekah, the mother of Esau, took goodly raiment of her head son, Esau, which were with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, a younger son. Rebekah, that manipulative woman, took the clothes of his first son, Esau, and put it on Jacob, his last son, 
and presented him to Isaac, his father, as Esau. Let me read the whole story before we pray. Verse 16, I will stop at verse 27. And she put the skins of the keys of the goat upon his hand and upon the smooth of his neck. And she gave the savory meat and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son, Jacob. And he came unto his father and said, My father. And he said, Here I am. Who art thou, my son? And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, thy firstborn. Can you see that? Can you see how manipulation play out? I will read that place again. Genesis 27 verse 19. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau. Was he Esau? No. But at that point, he was wearing the garment of Esau. And he was using the name of Esau to get the blessing that belonged to Esau. Can you see that? Two things played out. He changed his name to Esau, whereas he was an Isaac. He changed his clothes to the clothes of Esau, whereas he has his own garment. Do you know why? Every garment you wear has its own odor. Some people, I'm not talking about natural odor. Some people, the garment they are wearing in the spirit is garment of disfavor. When people see them, they just hate them. You know, we talked about that yesterday. We pray against the spirit of hatred. Maybe people hate you for no reason. You need to go and watch yesterday's program. But that's not where we are going today. Yesterday, we deal with the spirit of hatred. But today, we are dealing with manipulation. And Jacob said unto his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done according as thou bidded me. Arise, I pray thee, sit and eat of my vanity, that your soul may bless me. And Isaac said unto his son, How is it that thou hast found this so quickly, my son? And he said, Because the Lord your God brought it to me, he lied. And Isaac said unto Jacob, Come, come near, I pray thee, that I may feel you, my son, whether thou be my very son, Esau, or not. You know, Isaac was so passionate. He wanted to be sure that the blessing was going on Esau. But Jacob and Rebekah, they have perfected everything so that this old man will not know. And verse 22, verse 23, verse 22, and Jacob went near unto Isaac, his father, and he felt him and said, the voice is Jacob's voice, but the hand at the hand of Esau. Can you see manipulation? They put goat skin in the hand of Jacob because Esau was hearing. So they used goat skin to cover that. The only thing he could not change his voice. He changed his name. He was an Isaac. He said, I'm Esau. He was the second son, the last born. He said, I'm the first born. You see the manipulation. And verse 23, and he designed him not because his hand was here as his brother. Esau's hand, so he blessed him. Hmm. And he said, Are thou my very son? And he said, I am. Verse 25. And he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son vanishing, that my soul may bless thee. And he brought it near to him, and he did eat. And he brought in wine, and he drank. Verse 26. I'm going to stop at 27. And his father Isaac said unto him, Come near and kiss me, my son. Isaac was not sure that this is Esau. Verse 27. And he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his raiment, and blessed him, and said, See, the smell of my son is as the smell of a field which the Lord had blessed. Can you see that? Okay, I will add you, but I will still continue with the teaching. So what do you want to join? I will add you. And that is how it played out. They took the clothes. They took the clothes of Esau to his father. They took his name to his father. 
as Esau. And they took all that belonged to him, to his father, so that they can manipulate the blessing. I want you to know that this is not just clothes in the spirit realm. It has significance. Today, let me share a testimony, something that just happened today. If I stand up, if I, the person that gave me this clothes is online right now. If I stand up, you see, this is one of the 1,000 hallelujah garments that I have. Somebody gave this to me last year. And it was only one that the person gave to me. And my wife said, I should, since I have many 1,000 hallelujah clothes, so I gave this one to my wife. I gave her about four months ago. But today, I just went to her room and said, I want to wear my clothes back. If I were making, you were making fun of it. And she was telling me that when you know you are not going to give me finally, that you are going to take it back, why do you give it to me? I just smiled. I said, I just want to wear it today and I will give it back to you. I didn't know. I just felt in my spirit that she wear the clothes. And as I entered this powerhouse this afternoon, a brother came to me. He said he saw me in his dream. And this is the clothes that I was wearing that I prayed for him and I gave him a message. I said, what? Because the Lord wanted to confirm that message to that brother, he made me to wear the clothes that I dashed out to my wife about four months ago. But I just said, let me wear these clothes again. I have many clothes I can wear, but my spirit just went to this one. Do you know why? Because God has used this raiment plus my image to appear to a brother and bless him. And he wants to confirm to that brother that what he told him in the dream is sure. So he caused me to even wear the clothes. Even, even though it doesn't belong to me, I borrow it now as I'm wearing it. What am I trying to say? What you are wearing, you can call it ordinary garment, but it is not. You can call it ordinary clothes, it is not. Enemy can use it once you wear it once. Enemy can use it to supplant your destiny. Have you not heard? People they say they, they spread their clothes outside, and before they came back, somebody caught part of it. Have you not heard that people that are doing money ritual, they will say they should go and find pants of female. Do you know why it's significant? Because that cloth has touched their body. So if the cloth has touched their body, they can use it to represent them. I will explain before I pray. Before you need to pray. You know, sometimes when we pray for people, prophetic prayer, we see in the spirit that the first cloth, that is something they call Ibaja, something that, I don't know the English, permits me, something that the woman used to, to tie their baby at their back. They call it Ibaja. Sometimes when we pray for people, we see that the first Ibaja they use has been used in the demonic realm against the destiny of that child. Is it not in the Bible? Are we making it up? All the techniques of demon. I want you to share this book. Somebody need to hear that is not here now. Somebody need to hear this word and she's not here now. She's not here. And, and, and the Babala will say, just go and find one clothes of your wife that they don't need to bring your wife. Just go and find one and carry one remains from your wife and bring it. And they will use it to connect and use it to destroy the destiny of that person. Sometimes it may not be, it may not be clothes. It could be shoe. I heard the story. A man was in an aeroplane. A man was flying. I pray for you, for whosoever that can say amen. Whatever the enemy has taken from you, and they are using it against you. They are using it to suppress your life. They are using it to, to represent you in the spirit realm and to cause havoc and to cause evil into your life. I pray from today that your clothes that is on the evil altar, I take it out by fire in the name of Jesus. Elema Kalia Sakadia. Kalima Rama Lese Keliada, whatever that has touched your body that is in the camp of the enemy, that is on the wicked altar, that they are using to manipulate you, 
that they are using to manipulate your image, that they are using to manipulate your voice, that they are using to manipulate you in the presence of your helper. I cause that thing to catch fire on that altar in the name of Jesus. And that brother was in an aeroplane. Listen to this testimony. You know when you are flying on a long flight, for instance, if you are going to US from Nigeria, it takes you about 12 hours. It's a long flight. So the man removed his, his shoe in the plane. He removed his shoe in the plane and put it aside because of the long flight. So when it was time for the flight to land, he wanted to wear his shoe so that he can come out from the plane. And he began to search. And he began to search. And he began to search. He searched throughout all the, cab uh, the cabinet of the airplane. He searched everywhere. He couldn't find a shoe, the shoe there. The same shoe that he removed inside the plane, he could not find it inside the plane. He searched everywhere. The pilot and the people that are working inside the plane, they search everywhere and they cannot find the shoe. And he came out of the plane, he bought another shoe and he went away. And about three months later, <laughs> he met a prophet. And the prophet told him, once upon a time, you boarded a plane and you lost your shoe. He said, yes. And the prophet told him, go to your father's house in the village. Go to your father's house in the village and check the roof of the house that you are going to find the shoe you lost inside the aeroplane. The man said, how can that be possible? I lost a shoe in the hair and you are telling me to go to my father's house in the village that I'm going to see the shoe uh, under the asbestos. He said, that's not possible. The prophet said, just go there and check. And the man went to the village, went straight to his father's house. And when he got to his father's house, went to the roof, the shoe he lost inside the aeroplane in the air, he found it on the roof of his father's house. Those are the ways demons work. And I'm praying for you. Kalemas, yeah, somebody is listening to me. You lost a shoe in your dream and you found it. You are wearing one, just one. You can't find the other one. Sometimes you see yourself just walking merely barefooted in your dream. You are always finding your shoe, always finding your clothes, always finding something that belongs to you. Kalemas, yale, kederi, lema, shalala, dada. Whatever belongs to you, that you cannot see in your dream. I pray for you. Whatever they are using that dream to achieve in your life, I nullify it by the fire of Holy Ghost. Whatever that has touched your body, that is on the altar of the wicked one, I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. What has touched your body, your clothes, your garment, your raiment, your shoe, your shame, your earring, Male kadia serili amakalia dadara male kederia dasa dalema. Somebody will listen to this, and the person is not online right now. He's not part of the people watching me. Your husband took your pants to an abalis. Eli kadase liam made keri la de deli shara malema. Arakades yamarakada dare le dede. Erekedelia masadiri liada da sekelia marile shiri da dake le keri yamasadi. Erekelia marada da sakali yamade deli dede. If this ever happened to you, and and you know this message, you want found something that belonged to you, your peace, and you suspect that it is this man that put it, took it away. I need you to reach out to me. That prayer is not just an online prayer. I pray for everybody listening to me. What belongs to you that the enemy has taken and is presently on the altar of the wicked one? Every of your garments, every of your shoe, every of your clothes, every of your property, your picture, Makalia, your picture, Iria Dasa, your picture, Maleke Deria, 
Ramakadasi, your wedding picture, Maleke Desiara, my wedding picture, Riada Kalema, Iradasele, Ididirili, Ikalema Sakali Kada Kadara, Maramale Mashi Dire Kaleka Desedile, Erekederia Malamada Sadiara, Maleke Desiada Damale Kedere, wherever they take your wedding picture, my wedding picture too, for an evil offering to demon. I pray it catch fire right now. I said thou tara bless ekele marada dalema e malaseke de kelema I'm seeing wedding pictures on demonic altars Thank you Holy Spirit I'm seeing wedding pictures on demonic altars e lekad I'm seeing baby's picture on demonic altars e male kadasa wherever they take your picture to wherever they take my picture to wherever they take our raiment to Wherever they take what belongs us to, every altar that accommodates our property, I said that altar ablish. Eleka delia malama shira, maraka desia rada dadara, lakada marama dadara, reke dada dadere, malisia dakada. Jacob lost the blessing that belonged to him because they took his garment to misrepresent him before I see. I need you to pray that prayer for just five minutes. That is the only prayer we want to pray today. You may say, I've not lost my clothes. <laughs> what, a, what, a, what, a, what about the one you don't know anything about? They took the raiment of Esau and presented it before his father. He saw, the father smelled it. He said, he said, it smell like Esau's clothes. But this is not Esau. You know, people can use your clothes and use your image and take it and appear to your husband and present you as a wish. People can take your picture and they'll be using your picture with your clothes and be having sex with you. Demon, demon can wear your clothes and be having sex with your husband. And your husband will wake up and look at you and say, this woman is a wish. Do you know why? Because he just had sex with you in the dream. And it's not you. Every demon that is wearing your clothes. Elia Kalama Sekeria Dadara. Let that demon cast fire. Mare Kali Sale Mari Kali Radasada. Mari Kele Kele Male Marida Teliara. Every demon that is wearing your clothes to have sexual engagement with anybody else let that garment catch fire let that demon catch fire <laughs> a brother came to me he said he saw a pastor in his dream and the pastor was consulting doing evil i just smiled because I knew it was not that pastor that I saw. This message will help you. It's not that pastor that I saw, but somebody is using the garment of that pastor and the image of that pastor to destroy his ministry. What does it cost demon to destroy your home? They only need your image. They only need your garment. When, when, when a demon wear your garment and present you as husband before your wife, and you have sex and doing all kind of things. They will present you what you are not doing. They lie against you in the dream by wearing your garment. Ilima siara, ilika desiere, ilima rakada, marada dalitere. Whatever that has touched your body that is on demonic altar right now that they are using against you, I pray, I destroy thy covenant. Whatever they are taking from you and they are using against you, so for some people, they took money from them. About six months ago, they told me to go and pray for to pray for a, a somebody that has a cancer. Cancer. They brought the picture to me. As I saw the picture, the Holy Spirit said to me that this person went to the village and gave some people money. And from the people he gave that money in the village, they used the money and took it to the money quarter. They used it against him. And when I told the woman, she said, yes. 
He said, whenever the man went to the village that used to give people money, I said, that's, I said, they used the money to collect from him to destroy his destiny. I pray for you. Everything you are giving to people, that's why before maybe you use clothes and you want to dash it out, you better pray over it before you do that. And pray so that they don't use the same clothes. I'm not saying you should not give things out. I'm not saying you should be afraid of receiving things from people. The only thing that I'm wearing, somebody gave it to me. And even the person is online right now. The clothes, the trousers, the jeans, everything. I'm not saying you should not receive things from people. I'm saying you should be prayerful. Particularly when you want to give out your old clothes, your old clothes to people. He gave out money. He gave out money. And they used the same money to work against him. Is it not in the Bible? It's in Judges chapter 9. Judges chapter 9. A man took, a, they gave money to a man on the demonic altar. And he took that money and killed all his brother. It's in, in Judges chapter 9. Read Judges chapter 9. They gave him 70 coins. They gave him 70 coins from demonic altar. And he used that 70 coins to kill 70 people. I pray and prophesy. Every money that has touched your hand, that is meant to destroy you, I nullify that covenant. Sometimes when you receive money in your dream, it's not a blessing. Yes, I'm telling you the truth. Sometimes when you receive, they gave you money in the dream, it doesn't mean it's a blessing. If that money is a demonic money, it actually represents lack. Whatever money you have received that you are not supposed to receive, whatever money you have received physically or in the spirit realm that is causing poverty, that is causing lack, Kalema Siari Elia Kalema Diara Sakalia Madede in Isharama Dadasan. I reverse that covenant and I destroy it by fire in the name of Jesus. Every piece of clothes that belong to you, that the enemy is using against you on demonic altar, I destroy it by fire in the name of Jesus. Mm. You will understand later. I don't want to give many personal testimonies so that it doesn't scare people away. But this is what happened to Esau in the Bible. They use his clothes. They use his clothes, his name, to misrepresent him before his father, to take away his blessing. Everyone using your name, say it to yourself, Everything, everyone using my name, using my image, using my clothes, using my property to take away my blessing. Let them die by fire. I don't pray to, for people to die, but for some situation, some people need to go for you to live. And that's the kind of prayer I want to pray today. I don't care. Real male Caselia Matada. Everyone using my clothes. Elia Makale de Deria Dadara. Everyone using my garments. Ereke de Lekada. Everyone using my image. Eleka Rasa de Everyone using my picture. In that Deri Likada. Everyone using my name. To work evil to manipulate my destiny. Let them die by fire. I need you to pray that prayer by yourself. Everyone using your garment. Everyone using your voice. Everyone using your image. Everyone using your picture. Let them, to manipulate your destiny. Let them die by fire. Let them die by fire. Let them die by fire. They use the picture. They use the garments and the name of Esau to take away his blessing. Everyone using your name, using your image, using your garment, using the image of your wife, using the image of your husband, using the image of your children, using the clothes they have used, using whatever that belongs to your house, whatever your hand has touched that the enemy is using against you. I ask that altar, I command fire, I command fire, I command, I see, a, I see an altar burning right now. Malia Dadari, Malika Rasara. Liria Mashakada, Maria Desu, Iriadaka Le Marada Dasa, every altar 
that possess what belongs to you. Every altar where your picture, your name is displayed. Every altar. Ili karama lekara maleka se kerida de elia maleka sia whatever belongs to you every altar that is in possession of you I command it to catch fire in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. That's it for today. Please don't be careless to what belongs to you, and whatever you receive, always sanctify it before you use them. Enemy used the same method. That is in the Bible. They took away the, the raiment of Esau. They, they, they manipulated his name and his place, and they took away everything. So if the enemy can assess your clothes, it means they, are, they can assess your life. If they can assess your shoe, it means they, that's why those things are very important. When you see, when you have revelation that you are struggling with somebody in the dream, always pray about them they are not ordinary i pray everything that your hand has touched every money you have received that the enemy is using against you i reverse it and i terminate it in the name of jesus no nothing they do against you shall prosper no weapon fashion against you shall prosper you will always accept your enemy will fail and fail and fail and fail and fail and fail again. The Lord bless you. I need you to pray in the night. Everything they've taken away from me, I receive it back in the name of Jesus. As I was praying, I saw that they took some wedding picture onto demonic altars. I saw that they took some people's clothes, some people's property, they put them on demonic altar. And I said, those altars are placed in the name of Jesus. You will not be a victim of manipulation. They manipulated Esau through the raiment, the garment that he wore. And the same thing happened to Joshua, the high priest. And the Lord said, remove him. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I almost forgot. Before we started this program, the Lord said, I should pray for a certain group of people. If you always see yourself naked in the dream, it means they remove the, your garment of glory. It means shame. It means death. It means lack of quality relationship. When you see yourself naked in the dream, it means shame. It means lack of quality people. It also represents the spirit of death. I pray for anyone that has seen himself or herself naked in the dream. May the glory of God cover you. Instead of shame, may the glory of God cover you. Instead of lack of quality people, may God raise quality men for you. And instead of the spirit of death, you will live and you will not die. And the second set of people that I want to pray for are the people who always wear rag in the dream. You see yourself wearing torn garments. You wear rag. You wear rag. You wear clothes that you are not supposed to wear. I pray for you. Rack means spirit of insanity. I pray it means poverty. When you see yourself wearing rack, it means lack. It means sickness. It means insanity. It means you are not so you are not where you are supposed to be. Every power that is putting rack on you in your dream. I tear that rag by fire in the name of Jesus. You will no longer wear rag in the name of Jesus. And the last set of people that I want to pray for is people always finding your shoe, always looking for your clothes, looking for your phone, looking for your shame, looking for something that belongs to you in your dream. Do you know what it means? They are telling you you will seek and not find. If you cannot find in the dream, it's, they are telling you you will be sick and you will not be able to find. I pray for you. Every power manipulating you through your dream, they cease to exist from today in the name of Jesus. You will not be a victim of manipulation. Every garment that have touched your body from birth till now that the enemy is using against you, I set it a place in their camp in the name of Jesus. Elira Kalema Siara Dadari Lekede, Elima Siara Dadari Lekede, Karima Siara Dadasi, 
Elema Diasa, thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm seeing a name ceremony. I'm seeing a name ceremony. And they are holding a baby, and a woman came and touched the clothes of the baby. And it means nothing to the, to the mother of the baby. But that hand was not an ordinary hand. Every evil hand that has touched you when you are young, every evil hand that has touched my children when they were young, every evil hand that has touched your children when they were young, I pray what they deposit in their life, I remove it by fire. I remove it by fire. The hand of the wicked one in your destiny is erased completely by fire. The hand of the wicked one against your destiny is erased completely by fire. The Lord bless you. Today is the fifth day, and we appreciate God for your life. We are still going to continue with our fasting and prayer tomorrow. And tomorrow we'll be praying for restoration. Restoration. They took everything away from Esau. He couldn't get it. But you are going to get your own. Everything that belongs to you will come to you. You will not lose it. You will get it back. So tomorrow, we are going to be meeting by 2 p.m. to also pray so that we can receive all that we have lost. And the last day, we'll be praying for the power of Holy Ghost. The power that will make it impossible for the enemy to come near you. That's what we pray for the seventh day. That's what we call the touch not anointing. That's what we are going to be praying for on the last day. You know, Kalema Siara Kada, pray this prayer before you go. Say, Lord, touch all my remains to garment of fire. Touch all my clothes to garment of fire. Touch all my garments to garment of fire. Touch everything that belongs to me to fire. Touch fire. Yeah. Touch everything. My big shot to fire. My raiment to fire. My image to fire. My name to fire. Pray God taught everything that belongs to me to fire. When God turn your name to fire. Anybody that call your name is fire that appear. When God turn your image to fire, anybody that want to touch your picture is touching fire, and nobody plays with fire. Everything that belongs to you, your remains, your clothes, your shoe, everything, your money, everything, your image, your name, it will be fire in the spirit realm. Enemy will not be able to manipulate you again. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Hope you are enjoying. Uh, yourself, the Lord bless you, my brother, Mr. Gule, the Lord bless you, Mr. Adebayo, I will, I will pray you, the Lord bless you, my brother, my powerful sociologist, the Lord bless you, Mr. Awuni, the Lord bless you, every of our friend that's going to watch on YouTube, the Lord bless you, make sure you share with your, you will not suffer, you will not suffer, man. I pray for you. Every wicked mother that want to kill your own child to pay a vow in a demonic occultic group, I pray she will use her own life to pay. Every wicked mother that want to use the life of grandchildren, now want to use your own child, <laughs> to pay a vow in our cultic group. I pray. Kalia Sakalia Maramani Shakadia Dada Sirele Madadara. Elira Mashakadia Sale de Dere. If your child is sick, 
and I'm talking, and this prophecy is coming out, this message is for you. If your child is sick, and this message is coming out to you now, I see your mother wanting to use your baby to pay an offering, a vow in the demonic realm. And I'm asking the Lord that this wicked mother will die in replacement. She will not survive this one. She will not live. Thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you. You will not lose any of your child. You will not lose your children. The Lord bless you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for the spirit of revelation. Your children will not die. My own children will not die. The Lord bless you.